Hello everyone, this is Nick from Expert Agent, and welcome to the HTML coding video. Now what I'll be looking at with you is creating and editing HTML report formats through Expert Agent. So to start with, what I'll need to do is just get onto the template screen. Now, of course, all I need to do to, to access that, if I'm not a soup user um, and I don't have configuration through tools, I could just simply go to, to any grid. So maybe if I just go to applicant grid to start with, all I need to do from here is of course just right click and under outputs I've got create letters which takes me to the template grid. Now the first thing that I'll need to create the report template is a blank HTML template okay and that just helps create the form correctly. Now to, to access one of these and, and to have one what I can do is just go on to, to the expert agent default letters maybe just search for blank template so all I'm doing is literally typing in blank uh, with the addition of the percentage mark which means search all records for that particular word that's because I've got a few blank templates to use here now this one looks like a good example so I'm just going to click on to clone just so I can have my own copy of this blank HTML document so in the template format of course I'll just be using it as an HTML file um, so that's fine I'll leave that as it is with the template description, I can change this to something a bit different. Because in this instance, what I'll be using it for is actually um, a header and a footer for the report that we'll be creating. So if my, maybe if I just give that a bit more of a descriptive name. So something like that. So if I just go on to next from here. Now I don't need to edit this section. Um, it, it's not relevant to what we're doing at the moment. So I'll just simply save it from here. Now when I go into the our letters section, which of course will be, be your letters, add that blank blank header and footer appearing there. So now that I have that initial blank header and footer in the template screen, what I have to do now is just create the actual content for the report itself. Okay, so to do this, I'll just go on to, to new template, the bottom left here. Click on to HTML, of course, because that's the uh, the file format relative to to reports. I'll just give the template description just the name of perhaps maybe just an app search at the moment. So the template type, of course, you can choose that for whichever is relevant to um, the, the report you're creating. In this instance, I'll just keep it as applicant. So I'll go on to next. Now again, this part not particularly appropriate for um, the, the report, so I'm just going to go on to straight away to edit content. Now from here, of course, I have the, the HTML template section where I can start to create the actual body of the, the report itself. Okay, So in order to have the correct form and, and for the codes to, to work in the right way, I'll need to enter a, a table first of all. So you can see I've got a table icon just in the middle here. If I click on that drop down arrow, I can select how many columns uh, wide or long that need to go into this particular template. Okay. Now, if I just use a, an example of maybe just three columns for now, just going across, as you can see, when I click onto that, that just updates in the, the HTML section itself. I can just click and drag those out just so I can see all those boxes. Okay. Not that it would make any difference to the actual form of the report itself doing that but it just makes it a bit easier for me to see okay so from here of course I've got the table so this is the format that they will appear in but I will need to actually input the, the relevant codes to, to what it is I'm looking for now on the right hand side you'll see very much in a, in a similar way to the, the the word link merge codes I have a merge code table here just with the headings of each of those different sections of codes and again they'll just be displayed in alphabetical order. Okay, so it should be quite easy to find what you're looking for. So in order to enter these codes themselves, I'm just going to click into the relevant part of the, the table and then just from here, all I need to do is just click onto the code from this table and it will just insert that into the table itself. So maybe if I just start by knowing the, the applicant's name, then in the next column, Maybe I'll search for the email address 
and then also maybe just a mobile field okay so what this will do is when it's applied to a grid it will pull through the applicants names their email addresses and their mobile numbers okay now of course this can work for all kinds of different things this is just an example that I'm using at the moment but you can utilize all those codes as and when you need to um, to whatever subject that you need okay we'll see how this works against the grid uh, when it's completed so now that I have the initial form created here in the in the template this is how it should appear and it will be working in a, a way where it will be cascading downwards um, displaying the information on names email addresses and mobile fields okay so all I have to do now is just click on to save save and close I'll just save that again now if I search that through the our letter section So I've got that as a as a template itself. So now that I have the main content of the report assigned and also the blank header and footer, I can just start creating the template from here. Okay, so if I just come out of the select the template section and back into the applicant grid, now you'll see from here if I just right click and go to outputs, I actually have a section called create reports. Now if I click onto this, as you can see this is just displaying the reports that I have at the moment. Okay. But I can create a different one from here. So if I just go on to create a new report, enter in the report name that I'd like it to display. And then from here, underneath, you can see I've got the header template, the content template, and the footer template. Now this is what gives it that form that, that we're looking for. So, of course, the header and footer template I'm looking for is just the blank one that I created earlier. So I'll just make sure that's assigned to both of these. As you can see, I'm just selecting it just from the drop-down menu that it's displaying with me. So the content template, of course, is the app search template that I've just created. Okay. Now the report type, again this is just going to be displaying under uh, what kind of type of uh, report you'll be seeing, it's just down as applicant of course because it's relevant to applicants. Now the records per page are maybe just changed from uh, a quite a small amount of 5 to maybe 20, so that just means it will be 20 records per page. So from here I don't have to worry about this section at, in, at the moment, I'm just going to be clicking on that save icon. The report changes have been saved. So now, as you can see, I do have that whole report created of applicant name, mobile, and email. So if I click into that and press save, that will then show me the report of the applicants displaying in that grid at the any given time. So as you can see, it's just in the HTML format at the moment, but just going straight onto um, on, on, onto print. So as I'm sure you can appreciate, this might not be the, 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 the best way to export the information and then, and then print out of, because as, as you might be able to see, it's not perhaps giving the best form possible. Some of it is a, a little bit unaligned. So what I can do from here, of course, to get that better format, is just click and highlight all of the text displaying in this print preview. So just to copy that, I'm just going to hold control on the keyboard and press C just for copy and then what I can do is just open up an Excel document so now that I have my Excel document open what I'm going to do is just right click go on to paste special and just ensure that it's down as a pasting text go to OK as you can see that's just looking in a bit of a better format there everything's a lot more aligned and you can see the information quite quite clearly okay so from here of course it's going to be a lot easier just to go onto file print now, as you can see there it just looks a, a, a lot neater than it did on that HTML initial printout So once you've printed off your report and you're happy with how it's looking, um, you might want to experiment with some slightly different reports or maybe just have something a little bit different to, to what you've just used. 
okay now they can be used in lots of different ways and for for different grids of course this just being a, a case of the applicant grid of course I need the applicant codes to correspond to that uh, you can also do it for that for landlords property grids even even appointment grids etc okay so for an example just to edit one of those pre-existing templates all I need to do is just go onto the, the right click menu again just find the template screen now from here of course all I need to do is go into the original template that I had so just the app search so once you select edit for your particular template of course just go on to edit content at the very bottom just to get straight to the, the HTML section again and of course if you need to make any changes or just maybe update a code from here all you need to do is just maybe just take off the section that you don't need of course be careful not to actually delete the, the, the cell in the table itself and then just put in the, the next appropriate one okay so maybe if you wanted to substitute that for, a, for the address you could do so so then of course just save and close that now from here of course you wouldn't need to update the report itself because it would still be pulling in the same uh, report content which is this so you wouldn't need to, to change the actual um, report itself so si simply from here I can just right click go to outputs go under create reports again now if I click on to um, my report from before maybe I'll just rename that first of all okay and then when I save that I can just click on the save icon again just to run the report from this grid as you can see the information will just be correspondent to that now so just taking a quick look at that it's got the address block as opposed to the um, the, the mobile field so if you would like to create a report that has a completely different subject to it uh, again you might just be able to, to use the information from the previous report just as a basis um, for, for your next one so what you can do again is just go on to the, the template screen now from here this time I'm just going to clone the the report that we've been using just as a different copy of it maybe I'll just save this one as a, as a slightly different name so maybe this can be more property related okay so if I go on to next and edit content again of course then I'll just be replacing these codes with the, the relevant codes that, that I'll be looking for, for for the next search so maybe I'll just select the, the address field for the property and how many bathrooms and bedrooms it has fairly abstract but nonetheless if I just click on to save and close from here just as I mentioned as well if you do need to have more sections to the table itself you find that maybe you're working through this and three isn't enough you can always just right click in here and go into insert row I'm sorry insert column to the right you can do that as, as many times as needs be. You can, of course, just insert another um, field in, into there. So now, quite simply, if I save and close this, I have a slightly different style of report. So again, I'm just going to click on the Save icon just to ensure that that has been saved. Now, when I go to the, the property grid, of course, this will only really be relevant to the property grid now, as opposed to the, the applicant grid that we worked on earlier. I'll just repeat very much the same process so I'll just right click go into outputs and create reports and this time around I'll be searching for um, a different kind of report so if I just go on to create a new report I'll just start with the, the report name again and assign the header and the footer template again so I'm just going to keep that the same as my blank header and footer and the content template I'll just find the 
template that I created there, so just the prop search one. And again, records per page, I'm just going to be changing that to 20, just so there's a lot more um, than, than just five per page. I think you can handle a lot more than that. So if I could just go on to the save icon now. I'll just be searching for a prop search, which is just at the bottom here. So if I click onto that now, click on save to run it, it will just display those properties in the grid at that particular time. Now, as you can see, the report's just produced in exactly the same way as before. So I'll just have the same form, uh, this time, of course, just displaying the, the properties addresses, the bathroom, bedroom number, and also the, the, the age of the property. Okay, and very much the same way, just to keep it a, a bit of a better format, if, if needs be. I can just highlight the, the actual text here put it in an Excel form and I could just print directly from there. So again quite simply I just need to highlight onto the, the area of the Excel form, right click I'm just going to go onto paste special again, ensure that it's down as text and I'll just have my information inserted there ready to print. So of course, as mentioned, you can create reports from different formats throughout Expert Agent. Um, it can be through a, a grid, more importantly, so just through like a, a, an applicant grid, properties grid, um, even, even a tenancies grid. What you can also do as well is utilize them in the, in the quick links. So if you want a certain part of the information, of course, you can just use the quick links to, to, to your advantage there. So maybe your applicant's next contact due day, you just want to know their names and numbers to, to give everyone in your office a, a call out sheet then of course you can do so from here so just in the very much the same way just right click outputs create reports select your applicant report and that will just display that information for them in addition to that as well of course if you are just in the normal grid you can just change the columns around just to display the information that you would like to, to have for your report. So for example, in the applicant grid, if you just wanted to see, for example, all your sales applicants, you can do a report from there. If you wanted to see all of your sales applicants in a certain price criteria, of course you can do that as well. So maybe if you just wanted to search from price 100 to 300, Again, when you create the report from here, it will only include the applicants displaying in the grid. Okay. So I hope you can appreciate there are many different ways you can use these HTML reports. Um, do be experimental, of course. See which ones you can create, and um, hopefully you'll be able to, to do that a lot easier now that you've seen this video. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Hope it's been helpful for you, and I'm, I'm sure we'll see each other very shortly.